So this morning, what we're going to do is we're going to take you through the foundation paper uh, for the question on coasts. So we're going to start with question 7a, which says, study figure 19 on the insert of photograph of Hapsburg, Norfolk. So I'm checking my resource and I'm making sure, have I got the correct resource, figure 19. So I'm happy that I've got the correct resource. So the first question says, state the evidence at X and Y, suggesting that erosion is taking place on this coast. So it's telling me that I must look at X and Y. So I have to focus in on what is X and what is Y. So I get those two and make sure I'm looking at the right part of the photograph. So I know that erosion is eating away of the land and taking it away. So I know that it's asking me, what evidence is there that the sea has eaten away this land? At X, I can clearly see that the cliff has been recently eaten away. And the evidence for this is there's no vegetation at all. The only vegetation is at the top where it's stable, but it's been eaten away. It's fresh mud. At Y, I can really clearly see that the revetment at the bottom of the cliff has actually got a gap between the revetment and the cliff, which tells me that erosion has been happening. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to explain this on my exam paper. So here we have said exam paper. And I'm going to write down what I'm seeing now. So... State the evidence at X. My evidence at X is that the cliff has no vegetation and therefore it is clear the sea has eroded this recently. Okay, so what's happening at Y? The revetment, which is that wooden structure, which should be at the bottom of the cliff, is not at the cliff face. More beach is behind the revetment. showing that erosion has happened. OK, I check that my marks, two marks, I've said one thing for each one, so now I can mentally tick in my head, I've completed that one. So I'm moving on to the next question. With the help of figure 19, outline one impact of this erosion on people. And I can see that's worth two marks. So I'm going to go back to my figure 19. Now what can I see about the people and how it's affected the land? One of the things that I can see is that people are clearly living in a caravan. But some of the sites seem to now be empty. So I've got a caravan here, but I've got an empty site here, and I've got an empty site here. So this tells me that there must have been a caravan at one point, but there's no caravan now. So what I think has happened is that the people have moved away their caravan. They might have moved it to that site, or they might have moved it further back on the caravan sites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say two things about this moving of the caravan. Because it's worth two marks. So, it is clear from figure 19 that two sites have been vacated. This 
means that people have had to move their van away from the coast which will have cost money. I'm checking that I've made two points because it's worth two marks. Moving their van is one mark and that costing money is the second mark. So now I'm mentally checking, have I done enough to move on to the next question? Yes, I have. So the final question on this page, name the landform at Z. So I go back to my resource and I spot my Z. Aha. And what I can see is Z is a, a deposition beach. So it's a landform created by deposition and we call it a beach. So I write on my paper beach one mark. I'm happy with that. Okay, moving on to the next question. Explain the formation of wave cut platforms. Let me find my question. Explain the formation of a wave cut platform. Now, I'm not a very good writer, so I'm going to do something a little bit cheeky with this question. I'm going to do an annotated diagram because I know that I can put all of the points about explaining the formation of a wave cut platform on my diagram and this will gain me the marks. Because I'm not a great writer, I'm not going to write loads and loads of sentences. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to get myself a pencil. Pencil, sharpened, perfect. So I'm going to draw on my wave cut platform. So I'm going to draw a cliff. And then I'm going to draw my wave cut notch. And here is my wave cut platform. Okay, so I'm not going to get any marks for this as we stand currently because I've put absolutely no annotations on this and I know that I'm being cheeky. So what I have to do now is I have to make sure that I have annotated this uh, diagram up beautifully to make sure that I get all of the marks. So I'm going to start with some labels and what's happening at each point. So I'm going to get my pen because I'm labelling and I'm going to start off with, I think, my wave cut notch. So I'm going to make sure that my arrow is touching the specific part of that diagram. I'm going to write on here, wave cut notch created by erosion. This is where the sea is eating away the cliff. I'm going to label up this for the examiner to show that this is my cliff and here is my cliff face. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in where the sea is at high tide and where the sea is at low tide. So I'm going to pop in my high tide water level and my low tide. Let's make sure that my arrows touch exactly what I'm talking about. My low tide water level. Okay. Now I know that the wave cut platform is the foot of the cliff that's left exposed when it's low tide. So I'm going to label this up my wave cut plat 
form. Oh, I've spelt it wrong. This is why I always do diagrams and not great big paragraphs. So, I know that this is worth four marks. So let me just check, have I got enough information in my annotated diagram to make sure that I've got my four marks? I've got here a wave cut notch created by erosion. But now I'm starting to think, has that really explained why it's made the wave cut platform? So I'm going to put in a little bit extra information here. I'm going to say wave cut notch created by erosion leaves a foot at the bottom of the cliff. Here's my wave cut platform and my low tide water level exposes the wave cut platform. I'm still thinking, have I got enough for those four points? Because I don't like moving on until I've got all of my four points. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be really, really careful to make sure that I've put in some of the ways that the wave cut notch has been created. So I'm going to put in hydraulic action where my water has got into cracks and exploded uh, that, that cliff to make it erode away. Hydraulic action and abrasion are maximum here. The final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dotted line where the next bit of rock fall will occur. And I'm going to say, over time, the cliff will move back. And then I've remembered there's a posh word to say that, which is retreat. I'm done.